At Pint of Science, I'll be talking about the rock arts of Western Australia. So these are the ancient and modern images made on rock by indigenous Australians. I find it quite embarrassing when I do field work up in the Kimberley and every second German tourist knows chapter and verse about our rock art tradition and local Australians know next to nothing about it. When you tell them about it, they're fascinated, they're interested and they say, why didn't I learn more about this? So number one, it's telling us something about our school system, which I think is improving. And number two, it's telling us something about us as scientists and getting the word out there to a wider audience. So we are home of some of the world's fan most fantastic traditions. We've got engravings, we've got paintings, we've got the Kimberley, we've got the Pilbara, we've got the Western Desert. We've got millions of images that cover the last 50,000 years of history. These aren't just pretty pictures on rock. These are ways in which people manage social and environmental change. They are records that we can link to excavated archaeology, to paleoenvironmental records, to ethnographic accounts. But they're a very vibrant, visual and theoretically informed artifact that work well for um, public fora as well. And you could include the rock art tradition to include things like today's graffiti, which whatever you think about it is an artifact involved with place making and place marking. So the same skill set applies then. So I'll be covering the period roughly 50,000 years ago through to yesterday. It's about seeing the world in a different way. Most people have a sense of perspective where they live in a fairly narrow, little window of time and place, whereas archaeology can radically explode that outwards and inwards. We can look at where you exist as an individual in relation to our whole species, to the planet, or we can, through things like isotope analysis, look at your bones, you'd preferably be dead first, and find out things like what you ate during your lifetime. So archaeology, people often ask, you know, what did you discover, what did you find in terms of a site? Archaeology is not so much about finding things, but about finding out about things. For me it's the one discipline like at a university if all the other disciplines with due respect to all those other disciplines if they were to close down you could reseed the university from archaeology and all the things it studies. It has one foot in the arts and one foot in the sciences and I think combines those two very nicely. We get out in the world. You, you can't just sit in an office and do archaeology. You've got to get out um, into various field sites. The definition of archaeology has changed quite a lot, so you've got some people studying 3.3 million year old stone tools in Africa, and you've got people studying graffiti in Perth, for example. Those are all seen as material culture, or the objects around us, they all tell a story, and the archaeological skill set applied to those um, is, I think, particularly useful. So I, I just like the way in which it, it teaches me new things on a regular basis and gets me out the office.